We are two sisters with few fears and great ambition, ready to take on the world one ocean at a time. on the move again on our way down to the Acklands southern um, we got say la vie spirit animal and not a clue our squad is now nine deep our squad is now a total of nine members and uh let's go to the DR Looks great. Engines off. All right. Let's go. Fish on. Fish on. Fish on. Yeah. Finally. What? You want to give it to me? Here. No, give me the pool on this side. It's a, no, it's a big mackerel. Okay, ready, set, take this. Had to check the engine quick. There was a little bit of oil, but wow, this water is gorgeous. Engaged. Unfortunately, we had to motor most of the trip, but uh, still gorgeous. No fish except the stupid barracuda. And uh, yeah, it's been pretty smooth sailing. Motor sailing. After leaving Long Key with the squad, we headed to Acklands for the night, which is south of Crooked Islands, where we would get the boat ready for a long cruise to Great Nagua. Good morning, everyone. All right, so we decided that today we would go to Great Nagua. And um, we're right now, we are currently in the Acklands, which is like south of uh south of where we just were land real crooked islands and it's gonna be about 100 miles today our longest sail ever on our own on our own not our longest sail ever not our longest sail ever but it's a long sail so we're getting the boat all ready topping up some oil yeah checked gonna, our fuel tanks we're gonna take you through the preparations of how we or take you through our preparations for a big sail because today because it's going to be around 100 miles we're going to lift the dinghy up on the foredeck just so we don't have as much drag um and yeah we're just right now just doing a quick engine check like natalie said fuel check make sure we're good on fuel um what else oil oil oh we're going to check and the steering fluid coffee coffee coffee, coffee. This time we have espresso, so we don't have to use as much. So, because we're going on a really long sail today, our first step is to get the dinghy all put away. So right now, I'm gonna bring the dinghy around to the other side of the boat and we'll get it up with the engine hoist. And then after that, we'll get the dinghy up on the foredeck. So I'm gonna lay out these fenders and we're gonna set it right there.
a spinnaker halyard. Grab the spinnaker halyard. Rope, give me the rope. What rope? Rope for the harness. So we use our spinnaker halyard to get the dinghy up on the foredeck. Natalie's gonna put this rope, tie this rope between two other ropes that we have in the front and the back of the dinghy, kind of like a, um, a harness. And then we'll get the dinghy winched up. Start pulling it up. Yeah. Um, um. So then we have to close all the portholes. And we also want to make sure that the majority of stuff is put away just to make sure it doesn't roll. Because once we pick yeah. up some wind and we get a heel, we don't want to be running down here listening to things crash and everything. So we want to make sure all of our doors are latched shut, mm -hmm. all the portals are latched, everything is put away, cabinets. Um, and then Cups. usually in the, here I'll show you. I did the dishes yesterday. <laughs> I do the dishes every day. But, um, so what we do when we're sailing, I don't do any dishes the morning of usually because it takes a while for them to dry and I don't feel like hand drying laziness. But, um, we just toss everything in the sink. Anything that's up here will go in the sink. Anything we can secure, we'll put it secure. And, um, and then we're good with the galley. And then we'll go to the nav station, put some of this stuff away in a second. Unless Natalie wants to do some video editing. But this will be a little bit more cleaned up. But yeah, next, let's get those portholes shut. Hi puppies, are you doing your jobs this morning? Looking all cute. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you. <laughs> all right, so. Unlatch it from the top. Push it down. Hook these hook the latches here. And they have to be hand turned until they're tight. If they're loose at all, then uh, water will come in. and That is not good. No bueno, especially not on my bed. <laughs> there we go. And then what we'll do is we'll just double check each other's portholes um, and then make sure they're all shut just in case because it's easy to forget a latch or a porthole. So, swap sides. All right. You're good to You're go. Good. All good, good to go. Too. So, yes, that's it. Um, we're just gonna put a few more things away and then um, get the engines going and we're out of here off to Great Malibu. Another few things that we hook are these chairs. 
with the bungee. We tie the air compressor to the table so it doesn't roll. And uh, yeah, everything else is just... Oh, uh, we want to make sure all the winch handles are on. You want to double check that the winch handles are on. I'll get the nap cleaned up. Well, usually you you need a, a winch handle for every live winch. So, active winch. So, the ones that we're using, we're probably going to use the stay sail, probably going to use the head sail. Definitely using the main. So, there needs to be winches on each winch, winch handles on each winch. However, they're not supposed to be on the winch until we're using it because you have to wrap up the rope. But we'll get to that later. The main is all unzipped. Next thing we do is attach the main halyard and pull up the uh, topping lift, which raises the boom. Everything's good. So another important step is tying down the engines. You can see this one is all tied down. That's so if we heel over, the engine won't lift off. It's already tied, so it won't slide down. But now it just needs to be tied so that um, this won't come off the uh, stern pulpit here. So, going to tie that up. All right, tied down. Let's go. Another important step is getting the doggo's life jackets on. Come here, Luca. Come on. Come on. Good boy. Luca is easy. He likes his life jacket. Freya, not so much. Freya, come here. Freya, come. Freya. Freya, come. Freya, come. Good girl. Come on. Come on. Good girl. There we go. Not so hard, right? All set. Good girl. Good boy. Yeah, we're going to go for another sail. Yeah. So now that everything outside is done, I have um, already cleaned up the nav station here. This is all taped down for the most part, secure. Took the display covers off. So what we can do is I'll go over here and I'm going to switch everything on. Radios on. Autopilot on, radar GPS on, I don't need the anchor light on anymore. And then what I'll do is I'll come over here. Let's get this engine started. Light the glow plugs for about seven seconds. to jump which means that the alternators kicked in you can't really see it's 12 9 13 0 so we're about whole volts up I'm gonna try to get over that vibration
So after a long day, about eight hours of sailing later, we've made it to our destination. De our de de destination. destination, which is Hogsty Reef. Hogsty Reef. It is land that is in the middle of the ocean. About that 40 miles south of Ak Acklands and 40 miles north of Great Nagua. And it's just literally a reef with an island in the middle of nowhere. It's surrounded it's by thousands of thousands, fire. But it's surrounded by thousands and thousands of feet of water. Like where we are right now is like 2,000 feet. And then it goes up to land. Yeah, so pretty much a ring of sand. Um, we were either deciding to do this or go to Little Anagua, but it would take us another seven hours to get there, six, seven hours. So we decided to rest for the evening and hopefully do some cool stuff early in the morning and then keep going. But we're not really sure what our end destination is, whether it's Little Anagua or Great Anagua. So we'll see you in the morning. <laughs> We got hit! We got a double hitter! So this is Hogsty. Got a couple more boats here. Hi! Aw, no, more friends for Luca. Ton of birds. But basically this is just an island in the middle of nowhere. Interesting. I don't think it gets any more gorgeous than this. Crazy. It's been 